Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, and that means it is time for yet another meal plan. Boy, these Fridays come up quickly, don't they? Um, I just, time is flying already. I, it, I haven't even started my summer vacation yet, my summer break, and time is just flying. So, anyway, um, this week I have a menu for you. Super duper easy, very easy. Um, but delicious. <laughs> and also I do have a small produce haul. Now I want to, I'll explain the produce haul right before I do that. So let's just get to the menu first. I'll explain where the produce haul came from, show you that, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay. So on Sunday, it is Father's Day. So Doug set the menu and he asked for guac toast and eggs for breakfast. And then we generally don't eat lunch on Sundays. And then for dinner, he asked for lasagna, bread, and salad. So whatever he wants for Father's Day, he gets. I will probably not have the guac toast and eggs. I will probably just have um, eggs and maybe a link of sausage or something. I just don't want to have bread and pasta and all that so many times during the day. Then on Monday, keeping it really simple, cereal and milk for breakfast. Um, more than likely it will be the Kamut Puffs. I don't know, I might throw a little bit of granola in there with that. Lunch, tuna. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a tuna sandwich, a just a tuna bowl, I just put tuna. Dinner is going to be Another cook with me, a cooking from my collection. It will be from the Gilligan's Island cookbook and it will be ham radio pork chops. And I forgot to put any sides down. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna serve with it. Probably some sort of potato and of course a vegetable. On Tuesday, so Monday I'm gonna make egg bites and then we're gonna have those on Tuesday and Wednesday with sausage. Lunch will just be a picky plate, whatever I have laying around, some sort of meat, vegetable, fruit. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've had a lot of questions lately. A picky plate for me is kind of like an adult Lunchable, a mini charcuterie board. I just have a meat, some fruit, some vegetables, sometimes some yogurt, some cheese, whatever it is I have around that I can make a little picky plate from. And then Tuesday's dinner is going to be leftovers. On Wednesday... We're gonna have egg bites and sausage again. Lunch is just gonna be a yogurt and fruit bowl. And dinner will be ham loaf, sweet potatoes, and a vegetable. That's a carryover from, I think, last week or two weeks ago when I didn't get to it. And this is just called ham radio pork chops. We're not having ham two days apart. We're having pork chops and then ham loaf. Thursday some sort of oatmeal in the morning, either a chunky monkey oatmeal bowl or possibly um, just oatmeal with fruit, whatever kind of hits my fancy in the morning. Lunch, I'm gonna make a half a turkey club sandwich. And then dinner is a cheesy beef and pasta skillet. I've made it before, quick and easy. And a salad to go with that. Friday for breakfast, yogurt, fruit, and granola. Lunch will be another picky plate, and dinner is hot dogs on the grill. I have been craving hot dogs now that the weather is warm. I just want a hot dog. So we're gonna have hot dogs on the grill, and I also have some hot dog buds in the freezer that I need to use up so I don't have to make any, which will be nice. I'll make some French fries. I just, you know, cut down potatoes and put those in the air fryer, and we'll have some sort of vegetable. I'm hoping the get a hold of some corn, and maybe have some zucchini. Saturday, you know what we have for breakfast, omelets and bacon every Saturday. Lunch is they clean out the fridge. One of the babies decided they wanted to add something to my menu. And dinner, Pinochle is here that night, and I'm going to make chicken stroganoff over noodles for dinner, and I'm gonna serve it with peas because my brother loves peas. So that is what we are having this week for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. Let's talk about the produce haul and then I'll show you that. 
So back during the height of COVID, um, there was this company called Ortis and yeah, Ortis. Um, apparently it's all over the country or the region, but they're locally based and they source produce from local suppliers. And this time of year, they're you know sourcing them, of course, from farms and farm stands. They gather the produce, you get an email, what they have every week, you place your order, and if your order is $30 or more, it is free delivery to your house. And they actually deliver it in these beautiful cooler bags. It's, it's really nice service. Um, and this past week, was so incredibly busy. I honestly just did not have time to even go to the store to get produce. Um, it is the last week of daycare for the summer for, you know, all the kids. Um, I do work a little bit during the summer. I have one little girl um, a couple times a week, and then I have some other kids hit and miss. So it's just, it's it's been a very busy week because I've had so many kids because parents, uh, you know, I only watch teachers' kids. And, you know, parents are still in school while the kids go to a different school and they're out of school. And also it's just been insane here, insane. So I just did um, a produce delivery order. It used to be called, like I said, Ortis. Now it's called Green Lane. Um, so that is where I got my produce from this week. I was, you know, I like to pick out my own produce. Um, I was pretty happy with most of it, except the personal watermelons. They were not good. They were very, I, I need to email them for a refund. They were very mushy inside. The chickens really enjoyed them. So they did not go to waste. Um, but so that's what I did for this week, but I probably won't be doing it anymore because now that I'm off, I have time to go and pick my own stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to explain that where the produce was from and I'm going to show you that now. Okay, here is the produce haul from, it's either called Green Lane or Orto, Ortis, Orto, Orto Produce. Like I said in the other, before this, you know, it's changing. But anyway, um, I ordered red leaf lettuce to go along with the romaine in our garden. I ordered two heads of cabbage so I could get some sauerkraut going. Two little personal watermelons. They were out of big watermelons, so I got two little personal ones. Uh, cantaloupe, grape tomatoes, limes, um, blackberries. I thought I was ordering three colorobs. I ordered three sets of colorobs, so I've got a ton of them here, which is fine. We're going to take some down to Adam. He loves them. Um, we like to peel them and marinate them in Italian salad dressing and eat them raw. That's our favorite way to do it. Delicious. We've got a whole bunch of Jersey asparagus because it's nearing its end. Got some grapes, some zucchini, one cucumber, and some uh, white corn on the cob. So that is our produce haul, and it was $30.74. So that's it, my friends. That is our very simple menu for the week and our produce. That order was $30 and change. And for this month's pantry challenge, I allowed myself $75 to spend on produce. Um, so doing pretty good because we are halfway through the month. So I should be able to stay within that $75 budget and still get the produce, especially now that the garden is beginning early stages of production. We will be picking a cucumber today. We've already picked several grape tomatoes and there's zucchini that'll be ready within the next couple days. So quite excited about that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. And of course we've been picking herbs and using those like crazy. So that's been wonderful. So that is it, my friends. That is my produce haul, and my menu for this week, all coming out of the freezer and pantry because we are in, I am doing a pantry challenge for the month of June. So that is that. Luckily, I had everything that Doug wanted for um, Father's Day. So um, I had a thing of ricotta cheese. I have tons of mozzarella cheese. 
I don't think I have any of my spaghetti sauce frozen, so I'm going to need to make a pot of sauce, which is not a problem. I know I have everything I need to make that. Always keep all that on hand. Um, I know I have Parmesan cheese and I make my own pasta, so I know I have flour and eggs and water, so we are good to go on that. I was, because I thought to myself, if he asked for something that I don't have the ingredients for, I will break pantry challenge because that is a celebration, so. Anyway, now I'm just babbling and babbling and babbling. Um, that is it. I will see you all in my weekend vlog. It's going to be a very boring one because knock wood, it should be a very low key, boring weekend. That is my hope. Um, yeah, so thank you as always for watching my videos. You have no idea how much it means to me. Every time you watch a video, it supports me. It lets YouTube know that you like my content and they tend to share it a little bit more. So please keep watching. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you will know every time I upload, which is several times a week. So that being said, I'll leave a couple videos linked right here, some past menu plans and hauls, and I will see you all in my next video.